saves and Senna. Throw away to Senna, spins off again. No, he didn't. He was hit by Mika Hakkinen and also, well, Nicola Larini involved there. And Senna is out of the Grand Prix. Mark Blundell also is a spinner. He may have lost his engine, but the Ferrari of Larini and Senna's Williams are out in the first corner. And that is all a fa and Olivier Panis and problems as well. That is all due to Senna's poor start. Schumacher got them in the initiative. Senna came across the right to Blatt to try and block him. Schumacher got away. He then had Mika Hakkinen directly behind him, and it appears to me that Mika might just have tipped the rear wheel or the wing of Senna's Williams, and Lorini, nowhere to go, bumped into, and this, well, who could have written a script just like that? So Michael Schumacher leads the Pacific Grand Prix, and for the German, that is a dream start to say the least. Let's look at it again. Schumacher, just a better start of the two. Well, look, Senna tries to come across the block. He tries to go, go down the inside of Schumacher. Suddenly, there is contact. Mika Hackett and tips the back of Senna's Williams. Larini, nowhere to go, bumps into the right front. And in fact, that's what caused, ultimately, the retirement for Senna. And, well, I don't know what to think about. Let's look at the overhead shot. You see Senna trying to sneak underneath and contact from Mika Hacken, an unintentional contact. Larini forced out Blundell in his Tyrrell, a spinner in the middle of the pack as well. Well, Blundell, John, was hit by uh, Eric Comas, and, uh, well, that's not a happy Frank Williams, and that is very definitely not a happy Ayrton Senna. Well, starts of races are always very tense times indeed.